This is Module 6, Lesson 7. Plot points, using them to draw lines in the plane, and describe patterns within the coordinate pairs. To begin, we had a chart that lists four coordinate pairs. We plotted each of those points, A through D, on our plane, and we drew a line to connect all four of those points. We're looking for patterns in this lesson, so we notice that when x is 0, y is 0, when x is 1, y is 1, when x is 2, y is 2. So we can see that our pattern is that whatever x is, that's what y is. They are the same. Even though we didn't plot a point for 4, 4, we can see that it also would fall on our line. So our pattern is that x and y are equal. There are two different ways we could state that rule. x and y are equal, or y is equal to x. They both mean the same thing. Whatever x is, y will be the same number. I can even see that there would be some mixed numbers on this line. For instance, if I go over 2 and 1 half and up 2 and 1 half, that also falls on this line. Even though my coordinate plane doesn't go that far, if I went over 10, and up 10, I know that would also be on the line because I know that x and y are equal. Here we have another chart where x and y are not equal. We have x of 0, y of 3, x 1 half, y 3 and 1 half, x 1, y is 4. I'm seeing a pattern here where y is always 3 more than x. Here I've formed a line. I've plotted the points that were in our chart and they form another line and they form a line because there's a pattern between X and Y. Uh, that pattern is that Y is 3 more than X. Whenever we write a rule that explains the relationship between X and Y coordinates, we have to be sure and include both the X and the Y in our rule, both the X and the Y. Our rule then, y is 3 more than x. Here are four charts that show four different lines. Let's look for patterns within each of the coordinate pairs. Let's start out by looking at a. Our pattern, 0, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3. The pattern appears to be that our y coordinate is always 3. No matter what x is, our y coordinate is 3. So for our chart A, Y is always 3. Let's look at B. We have 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 4. Our rule seems to be that Y is 2 times X. 0 times 2 would be 0. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So Y is 2 times x. Next we're looking at chart C. We have 1, 1 half, 2, 1 and 1 half, 3, 2 and 1 half. It appears that y is always 1 half less than x. y is 1 half less than x. And finally let's look at D. We have 1, 3, 2, 6, 3, 9. It appears that y is x times 3. If we take x and multiply by 3, we get y. Here we've taken those points that we just talked about and, and looked at their patterns, and I've plotted the three points and then connected them with lines. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 lines on our coordinate, on our coordinate plane. We're going to find some point, some coordinate pairs on there and see which line they would fall into. So let's think about 5, 10. Over 5 and up 10. We'd be up just a little bit higher here. We had one where y was 2x and that would be in that same line on that same pattern because 5 times 2 is 10. That was in our pattern chart B. Let's look at the point 5, 4 and a half, over 5, up 
4 and 1 half. This is our line. Let's see what our pattern was here. Here's 3, 2 and a half, and here's 2, 1 and a half. So this is the one where y is 1 half less than x. If we had the point 5, 4 and a half, it would fall on this line where y is 1 half less than x. Let's look at the coordinate pair 1 half, 1 and a half. I see the line it falls on here. Let's see what the pattern was for this one. I see a 1 and a 3. I see a 2 and a 6. I remember this is the one where y is 3 times x. So the point 1 and a half, 1 and a half would fall on that line because 3 times 1 half would be 1 and a half. What about the point? where we have one and a half over one and a half and up three. Which line would that be on? Well, it would be on our line that says that y is two x because one and a half times two would be three. But it would also be on our line that said that y is always three. So that point, one and a half, three, would actually be on two of our lines. And finally, let's look at the point zero, zero. Which lines would that be on? We have two of them that go through zero, zero. One of them is the line where y is 2x, and the other one is where y is 3 times x. The point zero, zero would be on both of those lines.